I'm Jay Horton. I make movies and make money. This is how. Today, I'm going to break down the top five reasons that your movie viewing numbers on Amazon Prime are falling or failing. Number one, your movie is no longer a new release. Amazon categorizes new releases into three categories. Last seven days, last 30 days, and last 90 days. It's up to the customer to choose their preference, but after 90 days, there's no longer a search option for new releases. I believe that most little indie movies are discovered during this time period. Therefore, your movie's time in the new release category will most likely be its salad days. Most independent films experience a steep drop in overall numbers after the 90-day mark on Amazon. I've seen it happen over and over on my 20-plus releases. It'll most likely happen to you, too. Don't be shocked if after the first three months you see a drop that's well over 50%. It's not that uncommon. But of course, there are outliers and there are movies that continue to do well past the 30-day mark, but most of the time, they drop. Number two, people aren't watching your movie all the way through. Does this sound familiar? My movie streamed over a million minutes last month, but my CER is so low, I'm only making two cents a minute. How could this be? If I'm streaming that many minutes, shouldn't my CER be higher? Not necessarily. See, it's possible to stream a shitload of minutes and still have a low CER. One big reason for low CER is poor retention time. If you have a 90-minute movie and people aren't watching past the 10-minute mark, that ain't good, regardless of how many overall minutes it may be streaming. See, Amazon figures if an audience is watching that little of your movie, then it's not what they expected. It's not meeting their customer expectation and is therefore deserving of a lower CER. Now, Amazon doesn't release any statistics that actually cover retention rate. However, you can figure it out by taking the overall minutes you've streamed and then divide that by the number of unique streams that a title has. Now, of course, this isn't as accurate as, say, YouTube analytics, but it will give you an average, a general idea of how long people are watching your movie. Number three. Amazon has purged many of the lowest performing titles, thereby steepening the curve by which they pay. About two years ago, a lot of us saw many of our movies purged. Later, we discovered that this is most likely due to low CER. CER is based on a percent of all the other movies that are put up through Prime Video Direct. If your CER is 68%, that means your title is performing better than 68% of the other titles that were uploaded through Prime Video Direct. So when Amazon purged all the lowest performers, the curve went up and the overall averages dropped. And Amazon has been purging titles left and right that don't meet their nebulous community expectation standards. There's a lot of conjecture out there as to what that means. Some think it's a crusade against independent filmmakers. Some say they got a thing against horror, you know, that it's the blood or the sex. Some say it's the quality level of the movies. Some say it's a conspiracy against indie filmmakers. I personally believe it to be a combination of factors. Well, maybe not the conspiracy thing. But the biggest two factors are how well your movie's doing overall, minutes streamed, and how long you're retaining those unique viewers. I think everything else, while still important, is really secondary. Number four, you didn't optimize your title's SEO. Search engine optimization. Yes, it matters on Amazon too. Whenever I put a new title up on Amazon, I put a ton of thought into my descriptions, not just in terms of writing a compelling one to entice readers, but also including searchable keyword phrases. I mean, writing a compelling synopsis is great, but if no one is actually discovering your title, the best written synopsis in the world won't do shit. So how do you optimize this? So here's what I do. First, I write a rough draft, thinking of it only in a creative sense. I get the best, most compelling version of it I can. Then I think about how I might search for that particular movie if I didn't know the title. So I come up with between three and five keyword phrases. Then I start typing those words into the search bar on Amazon and see what pops up. Say I'm making a documentary. I go to the search bar, I type in documentary or documentary film and see what pops up in the search bar. And then I insert those phrases, those keyword phrases, into the description as organically as possible. Then I might get a little more specific. See, this particular documentary is about a dog rescue. So I type in documentary dog or dogs, see what pops up. Then I head over to the Google machine and repeat this process. I use a mix of the Amazon and Google search engines to create my final keyword phrases. Believe it or not, this really does help. I discovered this technique about six months ago when I was doing research into YouTube optimization. It made a lot of sense, 
and I thought that it probably would apply to Amazon as well. So I went back and redid all of my old descriptions using this method. I saw at least a 5% increase across the board over the next 60 days. Reason number five, your numbers are falling. Your movie just isn't that good, or it just isn't delivering what the audience wants. It's really hard for us as filmmakers to be truly honest with ourselves about the actual value of our film as it pertains to an audience. This is something that I've struggled with for years. And just because we went through all the painstaking effort to complete our movies, doesn't mean an audience has to watch it. Our movies are not entitled to an audience. That's something they have to earn. You have to give them a reason to come, i.e. marketing. Then you have to give them a reason to stay, i.e. quality and serving their needs. I mean, let's say you're really good at the marketing part. That means your first 90 days might be really great, but at the end of the day, the movie just isn't that good. Or isn't what your marketing promised, and people can't get through more than five minutes of it. So over time, the movie's numbers will fall off, and most likely very dramatically after the 90-day mark. So what's a filmmaker to do when their numbers are failing? Well, take a hard look at your floundering project. Did you use SEO optimization? That may help some. Are you marketing to the right audience? Or are you just pushing it to your friends and other filmmakers that are not your real target audience? Fix that. It may help, but at the end of the day, you might just have to face the fact that you just missed the mark on this one. You didn't create a film that connected with the audience. Now, I'm not saying in this case that you just give up. No, chances are you just haven't found the right audience for your film yet, so definitely keep trying. But also, don't just dwell on this one project. Nothing saddens me more than to see the same filmmaker pushing the same failing project in the exact same way for well over a year with nothing new on the table. You have to keep making new stuff. You have to keep moving. And when you do, keep things like audience retention in mind. When I started thinking of my movies in terms of retention, I started seeing better results. And I believe you can too. If you're enjoying my videos, hit subscribe. And don't forget that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see me posting more often and would like to help me level up the quality of these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. All the cool kids are doing it. But whatever you do, just keep making movies.